Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well uh, out there in the world where you are. Uh, it's interesting, intense times uh, we live in and I wanted to share some of the messages I referred to in my latest video um, on the channelings I received on some information on Europe, also some things I've been shown on Australia um, and a bit a general about the shift we are in because everything is interconnected um, no matter where in the world no matter who is experiencing what there are so many pieces to the whole picture um, so everything is is interconnected um, we can feel and tap into uh, things that are unfolding completely different places than where we physically are because our energy is in different places as well um, and the energy is moving um, and so we will experience that we are becoming more and more sensitive as the energy is rising now be aware that I'm saying sensitive I'm not saying victims or weaker because we are empowered in a sensitive because we are creating a society where we're living in a whole different way so sensing energies sensing other beings uh, all these things are becoming more and more normal because it's actually natural to us um, and so this also goes with everything no matter where in the world something is happening no matter who is experiencing what uh, and who is being guided to part take it in what is unfolding in one way or in the opposite way it's it's all a part of the puzzle and that's why it's so important to stay really through uh, true to yourself um, and to trust yourself no matter what unfolds no matter what is being presented in front of you and stay present and pay attention to what is actually unfolding and being presented to you in your present moment because that's that's where we need to have our focus um, and the total of it because everything can seem very overwhelming at times and remember that if you know every single human being is holding light in their bodies and we're holding more and more light and the more we are just present with embodying more of who we are clearing what we are not and just taking placing one foot in front of the other and dealing with what is in front of us without of course putting the head in the sand um, being aware of what's going on but dealing with what is your task what do you feel called to do you feel that call to do something follow that from within not what the mind says from an old program or what someone else says because everyone has their own keys to the totality that is going on now and the only one who can really find that is you with uh, and it's within you so really stay true to yourself that's something they're repeating constantly to me now stay true to you follow your intuition practice following your intuition um, and do what you need to ground to hydrate to assist your body through what is what is occurring um, and I wanted to start with that because it's so easy with these kind of messages um, you know that I will be be sharing to get very drawn into it and and start to think about you know different narratives and how may we play out here and is is this actually how it's going to play out or is that just a potential timeline or and you know we can we can go so many ways with it and if we do that it's not really helpful um, and I know I've said it before but even though it's channeled and it's from a higher consciousness it still is a perspective anyone is only holding a perspective of the totality 
And the timelines are shifting really quickly now because more and more people are waking up. Um, the masses are really starting to wake up now. And so as more and more people are becoming aware or becoming conscious, we are also making more aware and conscious choices, which affects the timelines and the way things will play out. Um, so none of these messages messages will be like the one great answer or the one way everything is set to play out um, but it is messages that i've been receiving in channelings um, now over the last week and a half um, as to how it looks now and what their perspective on how it may play out um, aspects of it so stay true to what resonates for you um, and discard what doesn't uh, because it's it's all about what is what is resonating within you because we are we're starting to remember more and more of who we are that's what all of this is about and that's why everything is shifting because we're remembering that we are not what we have been living in and so it has to evaporate it has to dissolve um, and it looks intense now staying concentrated also on your creation so what is in front of you to clear um, what is in front of you to take action on uh, if it's not in front of you to take action on something to retreat to to do what's right for you in the moment is very important and focus on what you want to create put your energy into what you want to create put your energy into the new because the more we can align our energy in the body and our focus, all where we put our energy into what we want to create, into the magic that we know is coming, um, the faster we will get there. Because there's so many distractions, no matter whether it's a narrative, whether it's a situation coming up, and, and there are many difficult situations for many people. I'm not at all uh, unaware of that. Uh, I am not trying to make that a smaller than it is. Um, I have a great deal of respect for every situation anyone is finding themselves in right now. And that's why also I say that focus on the creation even when things are dissolving and then focus on, on what is for you to, to clear, what choices are in front of you right now, what is being presented. That is always the most important thing. Now, what is said about Europe is that Europe is entering um, a three to four months period um, that will look, and I'm, I don't like using that word, but look darker in, in the sense that it will be felt more heavy, more intense. Um, remember, they said that fear is an illusion. So the more fear that can be created and the more we hold that fear, the more we believe in that fear to be the true reality out there, the more intense it's going to be in our experience. The more we can remember that the fear is actually an illusion and start to clear our own fear. Start to feel where am I holding fear in my body, start to start to or continue to <laughs> clearing that because if we buy into all the fear narratives if we get all our attention on you know only focusing on how is it going to look what is going to happen um who is doing what and, and we're just focusing on that it's going to be a much more challenging um period if you remember that fear is actually an Ill illusion, um, even though it's it's very real in the experience for many. Um, I have a video I made a few months ago on, on fear and it being an illusion, if, if that can help someone um, out there. Um, but really coming back to the heart, because the f what the fear does, if we are in that fear, fight and flight uh, state, we, we are out of the creation mode. 
and we don't find any solutions. So that's why it's so important to remember that, okay, this is what I'm feeling and releasing it. The, the way you feel is the best for you. Um, use your tools, gain new ones, you know, the way that works for you. Um, but coming back to the heart and out of that freeze or fight flight state um, and following our intuition the more we can come back to our hearts the more we can find our breath coming back to the body and get in contact with our intuition and that that inner guidance that we all have um, the more easily we can move through anything in our experiences and they said also remember that no matter where you are in the world no matter what your experience is at any time um, it, it, it if it looks really bad and it looks worse it is escalating before it turns so never doubt that it's turning because it is um, and I, I know I've mentioned it before, but I have seen, you know, glimpses of, of what is coming and it looks absolutely magic. Um, and when I myself, uh, you know, find, when I find myself in, you know, a day that is challenging or, you know, I start wondering about something or, you know, I'm spinning into those, uh, those thoughts, that's what I really used to come come back uh, to it's just something unfolding it's an experience now and I know it's going to change and what can how can I best um, assist and help with what I can do uh, that's really the, the way I find for me at the moment that is working the best when I find myself spinning out and being in nature, staying hydrated, moving the body, these kind of things. Um, they compared it to when you're preparing your um, your garden for the winter. So you're, you know, taking off the leaves, you're cutting down the flowers, uh, and it looks gray like it looks a bit dead like it, it's it's not the same as in the, in the spring and in the summer and so when you're prepping the the garden for the winter you never doubt that it's going to bloom again you know it's going to bloom it's just a season it's just a shift it's just a change so reminding ourselves that whenever we need it can be helpful um they said um yeah they said always follow your intuition because there are uh, it's so important not to walk around in fear and if you find yourself in a place where something feels off um just all of a sudden not walking around looking for it because then you're just creating fear um in yourself but if you've find yourself in a situation that feels off, if you find yourself in a place that feels off, if you find yourself drawn into a conflict and it feels off, uh, just on your in your intuition, withdraw, get yourself out of there is what I said. This is really important um, going forward and not go into conflicts, stay clear of conflicts um, and follow your intuition. If a situation, a place, anything feels off, um then on on the like globally uh, what i've said is that there's a new technology coming and we are aware of this um they've said it's a lot of it being brought in by the children um and i said that uh, the children now are such a great gift. Um, they're seeds of the new time. So take really good 
care of their children. Um, amazing new technologies uh, coming and healing methods that have not yet been seen by humanity. So these things are coming and they said it will start to be seen pretty soon. Um, I know I've been receiving some questions around economy. I don't have not been receiving um, much about that. Uh, and I can only speak out from what I'm receiving. Um, and the only thing they mentioned in this specific cha channeling uh, was that there will be economical challenges uh, as the structure of the economy is changing. Some systems can collapse, others might not, because there's a new system. So imagine that for every system that is sort of collapsing or falling, there is a new system that is being built and it's being built by us. So it's sort of ready to, to just start growing up um, or come, come to fruition. But the old that has been there has to be taken off. Um, and it's so important that we stay focused on the creation of it. They said, I know I mentioned this in, in another video as well with uh, the real value of a person that this is something we will experience to a greater deal and, and become aware of. And it's you know good to start that process in yourself as well. What, what are my abilities? What am I good at? What do I enjoy doing? What do I enjoy bringing to the table, you know, together with others uh, because we will start learning that we are much more interconnected uh, than what we have lived as uh, previously and when we just have to take a look at my notes here so I don't forget anything as I'm going by Yes, the interconnectedness is what we're moving into. So uh, some are really good at practical skills. Some are really good at caretaking. Some are really good with numbers. Some are really um, great with art. Like we have so many different abilities. Uh, and that's where we need to focus on what can I bring because we are going to be building new systems uh, and I don't know details of these systems but what they're saying is that it will be much more of an interconnectedness so as we are feeling more and more disconnected in the world we are also they said we're learning and we will be able to connect on a much deeper level um, so the ways of connection, how we feel connection is going to change and we are going to be so much more interconnected and this is where we're bringing what we can, what we like to do, what we enjoy in and others are doing it and we're creating new things. So that's why it's so important to focus on your own creation. What do I want to be a part of? What do I want to create? What can I actually bring to the table here? And to focus on those emotions, to focus on how does it look, how may it look, and, and start, because that's where we focus our energy then. Um, and then start aligning with it, knowing that the old is going to dissolve. Um, and we can choose to actually bring a lot of energy into to what we are cre creating. Um, and also releasing what, what's held within us. I feel I've said that over and over again in my videos, but it's it's being repeated uh, again and again and again. There will be reactions um, and fear going through the populations. And again, it's about being grounded, being in the body and not being drawn in to it when we can and just get a come back uh, when, when we feel that we are being drawn out. As more people are awakening and more things might be in the medias that people are seeing that there's something not adding up. Um, 
there will be distrust, confusion, uh, chaos, a lot of people not knowing who can I trust, where, who do I lean on. Um, and what is important is to help people, assist people in empowering themselves. Um, because we're, that's again with the interconnectedness, instead of leaning on someone else and following one authority in that sense, or believing everything that one is saying, we are learning to trust ourselves and trust others in a very different way in that new connection, in that interconnectedness um, that, is, um, that is coming. Um, And standing together because it's it's in the standing together we are creating the new um, and it doesn't mean we need to have the same opinions that we need to do things the same way it just means that we are all bringing what we have what is unique with about you your unique expression of your consciousness that's what that's what you came here to to bring um, I hope you can follow me. I feel I'm going a bit back and forth. Um, but it's it's so much information that has come in. Um, in Australia, I've seen crystals activating, which I mentioned before, all over the earth. I have seen crystal almost like a temple, a castle type of really amazing builders, buildings in crystals underneath the earth. I'm seeing this more and more clearly coming up. Um, and it feels like that new energy is so close to the surface now. It's, it's really incredible. Um, I also see a lot of energy coming from other places in the world towards uh, this place in in Australia uh, a lot also from South Africa actually um, and now to start talking again but we just tune in um, Yeah, so they're explaining this um, with the uh, with the rallies actually, and and the demonstrations and and understanding the frequency. So they say that the the vibration and the frequency of the way people are showing up uh, is changing, which assists. The, the new energy to really come up and, and really anchor on the surface. And this is what we are learning. This is what is so important because if you have, how can I explain what they're showing me? So if you have two different, uh, okay, you have a, a problem and then you want to, to solve that, you can't fight it on the same frequency because then you're just perpetuating the same. You're fighting against it, you have all your attention to it or on it, uh, you're focusing all your energy there. And so you're just feeding it energy, making it grow rather than dissolving it. What you have to do is to create, is to hold a higher frequency because that's where we find a solution. That's where um, the change happens. So when we're coming to it from a place of a higher frequency and aligning with that, embodying that when you're showing up. Um, because that makes so that a pattern shifts because a higher frequency dissolves a lower frequency. Um, they have been explaining some of this uh, same around health things, but I will take put that into a, a separate video. 
Um, so the control is falling away in the new frequency. Um, the frequency of the collective shift is higher than what is the old that is playing out, that is dissolving, that, that is collapsing. Um, so what focus do you want to have? That's, that's really important. Uh, what do you choose to create from? What frequency do you want to hold? Not saying to bypass or suppress anything that is challenging. It's really important to deal with what's in front of you. Let the old dissolve, let it come out, do the clearing, but then move into creation and what you want to align with. Um, because we are, when we come to a higher frequency and we see things from a higher perspective, the things that were, that's where we find the solutions. That's where on that, in that new frequency, everything is, is building. Um, so being in integrity, being your creation and cheering yourself on, they said. Because when it's intense, it's so easy to forget these things. So that's why they, they come with these reminders like several times um, in each channel. And they also said, can you think uh, the humans for what they are doing now. Um, and I, I really feel them now um, because it, it's massive. Every single person is helping a lot. Um, and there are, are challenging things. I can say in my own experience, there are things going on uh, in very different areas of the world that I suddenly see, that I can suddenly, you know, just because the frequency or the energy is there and it's accessible, it awakens a memory in me. And so I, it can be a past life, it can be, you know, challenging things and I can just suddenly feel it and then I deal with it in that moment uh, and I'm clearing it and I know that I'm I am clear, helping them to assist in clearing that energy um, because it's something that has been held in the collective, old memories uh, that is being awakened by the way things are happening in the external world because it's the same type of frequency, same type of pattern. We all experience these things in very different ways. Um, but I have been guided to just share like bits and pieces of things like that, how I experience it. Um, and just so you can see like the variety um, and get one perspective of, of how I'm experiencing some of these things. Um, I start talking again yeah so can you change the way you look at things so if you are in a situation that feels challenging uh, and you find yourself in the resistance and in the fighting it um, and in that type of energy, take a step back, breathe and ask yourself, can I change the way I look at this? Um, and also remind yourself that it, it is changing um, and it is shifting. Um, but use the tools you can when you are in it to take a step back and to remind yourself, come back to your body and, and move forward. And have a lot of compassion with yourself. Have a lot of compassion uh, for others. They're going through the exact same energies and shifts um, and challenges as you are. 
uh, it just may look very different in their experience. Um, be in integrity, have an open heart, um, and know that everything is shifting and it's what is coming looks beyond amazing. And as I've shared before, the energy I feel from the earth is so different. The inner earth, the crystals, everything coming up, it's it's like almost like walking in, into different worlds, but at the same time, because it's so close, it's there. Um, so no matter what happens um, at any time in your experience or any situation um, you find yourself in, remember that it is shifting um, and and that you're doing a great great job um, just by being here so i hope this was helpful i feel i've been a bit all over the place um, but i hope it makes sense please ask if there are any questions um, i love reading your comments always i know there are some comments that are being removed uh, it's not me doing that just so you know uh, just please keep commenting share the video if you find it helpful so others uh, can have some assistance from it too um, i will be back soon with more videos um, and again my apologies if it was a bit unclear because there's so much energies uh, moving through my body so it's it's a bit difficult to, to stay like really coherent when I talk now. Um, but I hope it made sense. Please ask. I uh, wish you a beautiful day and take care of yourself. Bye bye.